what I would do is hire a crew. They'll go inside the candy store or go inside of a jewelry store and make a purchase. When they card decline, they'll contact me on the other line. Why, why are they contacting you? So they go in there and they make a purchase for about $65,000. And typically when your card declines, the sales rep tell you to contact your bank. But instead of contacting your bank, you're contacting me. The same thing your bank could say, thank you for calling Visa Merchant Services. Sarah, can I get your account number, please? Expiration date, name as it appears exactly in a cart. That's what's called a forced transaction. Right. Yeah, but that's what she said, a forced transaction. So apparently, you know, I mean, the, the merchant still put it through. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I guess as long as they get that confirmation code and is able to mm -hmm. go through on their end, they good as long as they want is the money. I bet the probably does. The manager probably was like, oh, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. They never right. got that money. But oh. I wonder if they had to give it back. Nah, you just got burnt. Yes. Shall we go to the next video? Let's go. The next video. You ready, T? Yeah. So are are you gonna follow with Peanut or or come on, yeah, I, yeah. Let Peanut do her thing. Or do you wanna let Peanut do her thing? Let her do her thing. Let her do her thing. Yeah, she got paid for this shit, so she needed to, <laughs> she needed to do it. We need to hear her voice. Yeah. <laughs> you hating over there, CJ? No, I'm just saying we paying for it, so we might feel you know. <laughs> so we got video number three. We got a woman explains the scam that made her million. Scams. It's this jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. It's called the approval game. What I would do is hire a crew. They'll go inside the candy store or go inside of a jewelry store and make a purchase. When they card decline, they'll contact me on the other line. Why, why are they contacting you? So they go in there and they make a purchase for about $65,000. And typically when your card decline, the sales rep tell you to contact your bank. But instead of contacting your bank, you're contacting me. The same thing your bank could say, thank you for calling Visa Merchant Services. Sarah, can I get your account number, please? Expiration date, name as it appears exactly in a cart and amount of purchase. Ask them for their Visa Merchant number. The sales rep give me their Visa Merchant number. After she gave me their Visa Merchant number, I ask her, can she ask the customer for the last four for social? Same thing your bank could say when you call on your credit card decline. Oh, shit. She verify all that with me. I make sure that everything is accurate on the customer's account. Get back on the phone with the sales rep. I have an authorization code for you. Do you have a pen and paper handy? If she need assistance with the transaction through her terminal, I assist her with that. Where's the money coming from? Your guess is good as mine. It's coming from the bank. That's why they FDIC insured. Manual transaction is what it initially is called, or forced sale. Companies and banks are not supposed to do offline for sale. However, when the other party is on the phone and they think it's a Visa merchant service, they continue on with the transaction. Mm. So what happened Damn. to her at the end of the day? That's what I want to know. Where is she? Is she behind bars somewhere? I, look, I wonder if she, she did is. a bit. She As a matter of fact, I'm going to look it up and I'll, I'll put... Oh, yeah, I want to... What's her name? The second part in the description. Yeah. Damn. If she ain't, she about to be. <laughs> mm. I don't know why she would go in there and explain that. Like, you know to what? that detail, that though, Well, you know what? She... She must have been arrested for her to do it, to explain. Oh, yeah, you know, they, they normally don't yeah. explain it until they yeah, already did a maybe bit. that's it. That makes sense. You know what I mean? And then to say that she probably made millions off that shit, man, she probably from Atlanta because everybody's scamming in Atlanta. <laughs> look, that's all, look, that's Jeez. all they do over there in Atlanta. Yeah. This should be called Scam Scam Let me tell you, let me tell you how yeah, hey. my daughter tried to get an apartment, I mean a house over there in, over there in Georgia because that's where she lived. And she was supposed to be getting this house and she was about to get a person to the deposit and she she's walking up the same time as somebody else to quote unquote sign a lease but nobody oh. else and nobody else showed up so the other person had sent the person their money i'm like how you send somebody a deposit via cash app and then you ain't even sign no lease so oh they getting like double deposits yeah, yeah. Uh, it's probably it's more than double oh, shit Listen, so back in the and, day. And not to mention, it wasn't even their house. <laughs> Listen, back in the Let's day. Go out and choke the shit. Me and my brother, this is before, like, I didn't really know nothing about real estate at this time, especially not as much as I know now. And so I was probably like 23, 22. And so my brother, like, yo, um, I know somebody that's selling these houses for like $1,000. I'm like, $1,000? I'm like, all right, cool. So the guy would give us the uh, address or whatever. We go look at them. And this is basically wholesaling. So wholesaling is basically, I'm the middleman. 
Los, you the seller. You sell mm-hmm. it for five hundred. I charge a thousand. T buy it for a thousand. So you made your five hundred. I made five hundred. She got her house. Everybody wins. So it's basically wholesaling. So the guy would give us the house. All right, this is how much it is. Boom, boom, boom. So one time I'm like, all right, I'm like, how's he getting these hot? Like this don't make sense. Like where's he getting these cribs? So I'm, I'm like, all right, let me do some research. And it's it's so crazy. What he was doing, he he was smart, but what he was doing, he was like finding houses that matched like my last name or my brother's wow. last name. So when he he had somebody down in the city that was in records, and what they would do is they would do like it's called an interfamily transfer. And so it looked like I remember the lady, her name was like uh, Marla or Melba Moore. My last name is Moore. He would transfer the D from her to me. So it Think looked it like, looked like it's family. It's your name. So like the average person that's probably doing an audit or whatever, they not going to look at like, oh, it just went from this probably his aunt or his grandma or something. Yeah. And they transferred it to him. And so I'm like, huh? And again, me and my, this is probably like months after, but like me and my brother, we bought like six of these joints and then sold them. And then literally six, eight months later, we watching the news. Main man got uh, caught up for wire fraud, um, deed fraud, and all this. We like, yo. Hey, listen, you you lucky you ain't get caught up. Right, in that. exactly. Right, exactly. It was like, so yeah, people be out here scamming. So y'all got to be careful, man. Oh yeah, for sure. So let's go to the it's first. It's not family. letting me I'm see all about. the details, but it says yeah, she was sitting to sentenced to federal court for yeah. seven years. She her she her name is Denisa, uh, Denisa Diamonds. That's what she goes by. She mm, was in federal like, court, twenty five years old. Sounds Ooh. like a scammer name. Is she, is she from Atlanta? No, California. California, uh, same difference. Yeah, they be they be scamming and tricking too. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we got look. So the first comment. So first comment says that's why a merchant should always call the bank number on the back of the card. You know what I mean? Now, I mean, of course, my card never. You know, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna say my card never declined because I took a girl out on a date one time, and my motherfucking card declined. Damn. <laughs> And I hit her with that. Be right so back. Oh <laughs> Yo. my God. You left her. You left her there. That is so ignorant. Wait a minute. Y'all had already oh. ate dinner. No. You already ate dinner. Oh, that Do you is remember? ignorant. Do you remember your house? You be on 40th yeah. Street. Yes. <laughs> Yo. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Diamond Dash at his finest. Hey, what? Yo, she probably yeah, still under the yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The bathroom was right there, the door. Look, I would have been right behind you. <laughs> if you I, ain't look, know. I would have been, oh, let me go to the bathroom. <laughs> UFC Six Million Dollar Man. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, yo. Yeah, it happens, God. It happens. <laughs> look, look, second comment. <laughs> look, I probably would have left you for you. <laughs> I, I bet you would. You know what I mean? Oh, we got another subscriber. We got Elaine, Elaine Thompson. Thompson. God Elaine. damn it. Appreciate What's you. good, Elaine? Welcome to the party. This joint podcast party. So wait, so we got the next comment. So next comment says, the purchase would not be approved without pending a pending transaction. A decline cart is still a decline cart. That's what's called a forced transaction. Right. Yeah, but that's what she said, a forced transaction. So apparently, you know what I mean, the, the merchants still put it through. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I guess as long as they get that confirmation code and is able to mm-hmm. go through on their end, they good. As long as they want is the money. I bet the probably does. The manager probably was like, oh, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Well, they never right. got that money. But oh. I wonder if they had to give it back. Nah, you just got burnt. But, you, but because you you gave the product already. But remember the uh, uh the bank is federally insured, so they probably just gave them the money. And the bank See, which is why the bank the always be trying to steal from us because they be trying to recoup from the the, the fraud that be going on with these scammers. Because the bank don't want to uh lose no no transaction, so they're like, all right, that's sixty five thousand. We'll They'll probably just go we'll, ahead and pay we'll, it. Yeah, because well, we'll put an insurance claim on it and we get paid, so we get yeah. It. yeah. Now I wonder, is it a limit off like an insurance claim? Like That's if they lose, it. like is it under a hundred thousand or something like that? Well, you know, it's only it's is only insured up to two fifty. So yeah. if it was anything over two fifty, they would just be like, "Listen, we can get you two fifty, but that's all we can do." What two hundred fifty thousand or yeah? Oh, get off every bank, any bank account. That's why a lot of uh, uh they it was a story of um Giannis Antetokounmpo plays for the Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah, he has like sixty accounts because. 
you can only insure two fifty. So he yeah. has two fifty in like all these different and I don't accounts. Blame him because he's not trying he's to get insure it on, yeah, on all of them. He don't want his money to get like you know messed up. So oh shit, that's so smart. That's smart as shit. That's smart. All right, Giannis, I see. You. Or you just I mean? not have it in bank accounts to have yeah. it somewhere else. Yeah, oh, so, sure. That's the only yep. other place. So it, comment number three says. <laughs> It's a movie on Hulu or Prime about this. A true story of a man doing this. Mm. I already looked that shit up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she ain't the only one. No, hell no. Come on now. There's a lot of people. I, look, that, that obviously, did it? Ob- obviously she had the material in the, in the tools to force that transaction and for her to know to, what to ask. I mean, she of course, she had the, the voice for it. Hello. Uh, can I have your social security number? And what is your last name? <laughs> they probably was like, oh, that's a white woman on the line. Put that, <laughs> put that transaction th- through. Th- <laughs> thank you, Mr. Lowe's. Thank you for verifying your information. How can I help you today? Uh, listen, I think <laughs> prostitution, bootlegging like liquor, and scamming are probably the three oldest uh, uh, professions in the world. Look, oh, yeah. scamming, oh, yeah. look oh, yeah. scamming, scamming is, 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 is so diverse. People go from one from one scam to another. It, it evolves so much now these days. I think, listen, I told you my especially, sister. Especially with our people. Sorry, got, got to say it. I call it no, no, uh-uh. <laughs> I'm, uh-uh. I'm not gonna let you sit here on Al Gore's internet and make up that kind of uh, uh, blasphemous uh, statement. Have you ever seen the show American Greed? Yes. Yeah, how, it ain't too many of us on American Greed. It's most of the, the, the mother people. Yeah, well, see, well, see, we be scamming for like little money. They scam for big money, yes, or we do. be scamming for just like all of the just most ratchet ghetto. <laughs> it's like. Come the, on, the, the Jordan Elevens. <laughs> scam for the Jordan Eleven. <laughs> like, come on, you 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 scamming to get a C class Benz. Like you might as well got the big boy. <laughs> oh man, so we got another subscriber. We got Lady Lady Leah subscribing. Let's give it a shout, shout out, Leah, Leah. right there. Shout yeah. out, appreciate you. Welcome to the party, Lady Leah. Appreciate you. Just on podcast. Welcome so wait a minute. So what, was that what, was that all of the John. comments? Uh, yeah, yes, I was. Yes, I was. Make sure you drop a like. Drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you think. And subscribe. Yes, and thank sir. you for all the new subscribers. Welcome. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, it's a Philly thing. God damn it. 215. Come on, T. Video number four. Let's go. Quattro. Let's go. Come on, T. I said it. Quattro. Yeah, that shit was we real kind of suspect. We need you to say it in Spanish. You're yeah, saying the English version Quattro. <laughs> That's not how they said. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was real suspect, y'all. Really? Like they don't say Ramon. It's Ramon. You gotta roll the tongue. Carada. Quattro. I can do a whole lot with my tongue. Whoa! Now. Oh <laughs> shit! This one after dark. <laughs> Patreon coming soon. <laughs> so you said do well with my tongue? Yeah. I mean. Whoa. <laughs> I told y'all every Mexican man's delight. DM is going to be on fire tonight. Hey. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I'm going to put some of you in between my tacos. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Ooh. This is getting spicy. <laughs>